I have forgiven him. Um, I have come to a, a place of peace, and I, I genuinely hope that he does as well. A day full of strong emotions after the announcement of the Boston Marathon bomber's fate. What's next? Good evening, and welcome to News 10 on My Fox 10. A federal judge formally sentences the Boston Marathon bombing suspect to death. And beforehand, Johar Zarnayev spoke out for the first time. His sentencing has direct ties to the Wabash Valley, more specifically to the city of Terre Haute. News 10's Sarah Schaefer joins us now with more on this. Sarah? Patrice, at Zarnayev sentencing, it became official that he will come here to the Terre Haute Federal Penitentiary for his execution. Zarnayev had a chance to speak today, and he apologized for all the suffering he caused. Victims' family members also had their chance to speak, and it was an emotional day for everyone involved. Wednesday morning in a U.S. District Court, Boston Marathon bomber Joe Carr Zarnayev waited to hear his fate. Along with him, loved ones of victims from the 2013 attack. I regret having ever wanted to hear him speak because what he said showed no remorse, no regret. One family member said she thinks the jury did the right thing. Another said the terrorist, quote, took away from the American dream. Zarnayev had his chance to speak as well. He said he's sorry for the lives he's taken, for the suffering he's caused, and for the damage he's done. Then the judge gave his sentence for the 30 federal charges he faced. Zarnayev will come to Terre Haute for his execution. Vigo County Chief Deputy John Mode says based off of cases from the past, he expects it to be years before the actual execution. But when Zarnayev does get here, every police agency is involved. Mainly all headed by the federal penitentiary. Uh, and then we just acted in a support role. Uh, we had several news agencies in town and people coming here, people were just wanting to see what it was all about. So it was just a lot of crowd control and so forth. The Bureau of Prisons decides where Zarnayev will go immediately. If he doesn't come straight here, he will go to a facility in Florence, Colorado. Those details have not yet been announced. Patrice, back to you. Thank you, Sarah. And of course, this is a story News 10 will continue to follow for you.